And Barack Obama has been enjoying support from all types of voting blocs, including independents and even Republicans. Susan Eisenhower is granddaughter of the Republican president, Dwight Eisenhower, and she is throwing her support behind Obama. She wrote in an editorial in the Washington Post, quote, the Democratic Party chooses Obama as its candidate. This lifelong Republican will work to get him elected and encourage him to seek strategic solutions to meet America's greatest challenges. To be successful, our president will need bipartisan help. And Susan Eisenhower joins us now here on MSNBC. Susan, good to see you. Nora, nice to see you. Let me ask you, you are a lifelong Republican. What's wrong with the Republican Party? Well, I don't think it's an issue of what's wrong with the Republican Party as much as what's right about Barack Obama. I think of all the candidates on the scene today, he's the one individual who can really begin a new era uh, in American politics and begin the process of um, re-energizing uh, the great American debate. Susan, uh, let me ask you, you know, many people see McCain as someone uh, who has reached out before to independents, uh, has sponsored legislation with some Democrats. That's why the conservative right certainly doesn't like him. What's wrong with John McCain for someone like you who is a lifelong Republican? Well, I think uh, actually a McCain-Obama uh, campaign would be uh, most stimulating because it would draw into sharp relief a number of uh, very big issues facing this country. While there's some issues that they may agree on, uh, they have a wholly different uh, approach to foreign affairs. And I think that would be uh, one of the uh, crucial issues that would be underway. Uh, again, I'd like to reiterate that uh, my own feeling is that Barack Obama is one of these remarkable uh, political talents. And I've had uh, been lucky enough to have some exposure to him. Uh, he has sought the opinion of uh, a wide range of views, and I think he's got uh, the right temperament and personality to be able to bring uh, a very diverse group of people together in this country. Well, let me ask you, you know, many people remember uh, Dwight Eisenhower, Ike, uh, General Eisenhower, with, uh, you know, a great deal of respect, and, and they look at uh, McCain as someone who might be uh, similar to Eisenhower, certainly in terms of foreign policy credentials. What about those who say, I mean, if you have a race between uh, John McCain, 71 years old, and Barack Obama, who I believe is 46, a 25-year difference, that people will make this argument about experience and that John McCain is more experienced on issues of national security? Well, first of all, I, I guess you've, there's a two-part question there. I would say, first of all, uh, that you can make no comparison between Dwight Eisenhower's uh, foreign policy uh, direction yeah. and that which goes on today. Uh, the fact that uh, they were of the same political party doesn't mean that the Republican Party hasn't changed a great deal during this time. Um, but you're right, um, you know, there is a, there is a big gap in that uh, in ages, and I think uh, that's going to get to one of the core issues, which is how well is this country preparing for the future? And I think the fact that Barack Obama, as the AG is, gives him the opportunity to straddle what is a, an emerging generational gap in this country and one that is of great significance as we go forward to finding solutions to these problems. Susan Eisenhower, thanks so much for your time and uh, great to talk to you. Nice to see you.